Hi my loves, welcome back to Lavendaire. Today I'm gonna share my workout routine that I've been doing for the past month and a half, which are all YouTube workouts that you can do at home. It's the first time I've been this committed and consistent with working out, and I'd like to share my process in case it might help you in your own health journey. So if you wanna get motivated to work out again, I'll share my favorite tips and resources to get you started. Hey my loves, so to recap, I have been working out consistently six days a week since June 1st. So it's about a month and a half that I've been doing this and I'm actually surprised that I've been doing it for so long because I've never committed to working out this much for this amount of time. It's my first time being this consistent. If you're curious about why I started and how I got motivated to work out again, I talked about that more in my how to get motivated video that I'll link here and down below. But to recap the general points, I kind of hit like a low point in terms of my confidence with myself and my body. I really let myself be lazy and I didn't work out for a while. And I just decided like, you know, enough is enough, and I was ready to bounce back. A couple things that I'll attribute my consistency to is number one, I started tracking my health progress in my day one app. So every day I have this template that I fill out with my mood, what workouts I did, what food I ate, and just gratitude, all these little notes. And I've been doing that consistently every day since the beginning of June. The second thing was I kind of swapped out an old unproductive habit for this new more productive habit so i deleted twitter from my phone i used to spend a good one to two hours on twitter in the evenings just reading up on just everything news articles what people are saying and i realized that that was not really healthy like i thought i was doing a lot of learning and researching which i was but at the same time you're absorbing so much noise that that was not good for my mental health so i kind of swapped that time for workout time which has improved my mental health drastically drastically. So in general, the benefits that I've experienced in this past month and a half of consistent exercise, I definitely have more strength in my body, I feel more energy, I feel like I have a better routine, like I have this thing, this goal that I can focus on so that I don't spend my time doing other things like being on my computer too long or watching too much TV. I've definitely noticed changes in my body as well. I measure like different parts of my body once a week and I notice changes there and the funny thing about this experience was I was really frustrated because the first two to three weeks I wasn't losing weight and I was like why is this number not going down but I noticed that my body was changing it was just staying the same weight so this is just a reminder to don't focus on weight just focus on how you feel and how you feel in your clothes how you look in the mirror and just your self-confidence but yeah the most important changes that I've really appreciated is my mental health is so much better I'm more confident in myself and I have more energy today I actually plan to show you a full workout routine and what that entails but before I get into it I do want to share like a general outline so you get the bigger picture of my routine. Another thing is I want to share all of my favorite YouTube workout videos down below. I'll put it in my blog post so you'll have all the links in that blog post. It's too many links and playlists to put in the description so I'll just organize it on the blog. Alright, so here's the basic outline of my workout routine in general. So like I mentioned, I try to work out six days a week but that's not set in stone. I think anywhere between four to six is good. I alternate between a lower body day and an upper body day, the lower body workout day tends to be harder and the upper body workout is just arms and abs and it tends to be easier. So I let myself go a little easier on the upper body day and I kind of remind myself, okay, let's work harder for the lower body day. So I always begin my workout with between 15 to 45 minutes of cardio. And this is just depending on my mood, my energy level, and how much time I have. If I have a lot of time, sure, I'll try to do more cardio because, you know, I'm here to sweat and get my heart rate going. But if I don't have that much time, like one video, 15 minutes, just some cardio to get my blood flowing before the strength type of workouts. After cardio, I'll do a little light stretching since my body is already warmed up. And then I will choose between two to three YouTube video workouts that focus on the specific body part that I'm working out that day. So for legs day, I might do like a total legs workout, butt workout or inner thigh, you know, I'll just like pick and choose between the playlists that I have. And I might do some ab workouts, maybe just like two minute 
minute abs. Something simple where I'm activating a little bit but not like working that hard on my abs. And then the next day, which is the arms day, that's when I'll do arm exercises and ab exercises. And typically those days are easier than my lower body days. After the strength workouts, then I'll do like a full body stretch. And because I love yoga, I just get into my yoga flow and I just have specific flows and stretches that I always really like to do. And me, because I love stretches, I could spend like 30 minutes to even an hour of stretching if I have the time. So that's just me, but I love like that cool down. It's part of my meditation and connection with myself. And there's something really fun I want to share later at the end of the video. I'll let you stick around to the end so you can find out later because I feel like I've been explaining a lot and we want to get into the workouts. Today I'm showing you the entire flow of a lower body day and I mentioned that that is typically a harder day in my workout routine. So of course we are starting with cardio and I'm starting with a video by Thank you, Boo Boo. You're gonna learn that all the videos that I use to work out have been Korean workout videos. My two favorite channels are actually one called Vitamin Ginny and one called Thank You, Boo Boo. There are a couple others that I like, but those two are my favorite. <laughs> Why do I love Korean workouts lately? Well, number one, they are beginner friendly. I found some that are really personable and approachable. So the people are really friendly and they talk to you throughout the entire workout. I find that most Western YouTubers, they do voiceovers and you kind of feel a disconnect from the actual person doing the workout. So I actually like when they're working out and talking to you and they're talking about how hard it is. Like it feels fun and it actually feels like you're doing it with a person. By the way, I started out with my hair down because I had such a good hair day that day that I wanted to keep it, but that was hopeless. Pretty soon I had to like put it up and my hair is eventually going to be a mess just like it always is. <laughs> Another thing I really like is I find that the exercises themselves are different because in Korean culture, they're tailoring to a more slender, thin body type versus in Western culture, they're tailoring to a more muscular and strong type. This is not an absolute statement, but I just have found newer types of exercises in these Korean workouts. For example, they do a lot of leg workouts where you're laying on the ground versus in Western videos, a lot of leg workouts are like standing squats, lunges, jumps, and I prefer the lower impact laying on my back <laughs> type of exercises. Lastly, and this might just be me, but I like that I don't fully understand the language and I have to read captions because my brain is doing a little extra work. I personally get sick of repetition really easily. Like I don't like when I hear the same songs over and over again. I don't want to watch the same video over and over again. So with Korean workouts, I could like not look at the screen and I don't understand what they're saying so I'm not getting sick of it. So during cardio, my goal is to break a sweat and keep my heart rate high. And I really like to put my energy into cardio. Like if the TV is doing one thing, I try to do it full out. I even try to do it faster than the TV sometimes if I have extra energy because I'm just trying to burn as much calories and fat as I can during that time. Sometimes the cardio videos include strength training as well. So it's not always like black and white, like this is just cardio, this is just strength. Like sometimes I end up doing abs or legs in those cardio videos. So, you know, I just let it happen. Another thing is Togi is always hanging out with me while I'm working out. I feel like he waits until I get really sweaty and then he wants to come and lick me because obviously I taste salty. <laughs> then after cardio, I'm just doing some stretching. Since I worked out a lot of my legs from all those standing exercises, I'm just stretching them. So moving on, this is my daily playlist where I keep some of my favorite videos that I try to do daily. I don't do all of them daily. I alternate between whatever I feel like doing that day. So today I'm gonna do this highly rated, highly popular legs workout from Thank You Boo Boo. This is the first video that I discovered from this channel that made me really curious for more because like I mentioned earlier, all of these leg workouts are laying down and I've never done some of these before. All the American YouTubers or Western YouTubers would do other types of workouts. Um, so it, it was just nice to do something different for a change. That's something that's just as effective, but that I could do laying down, which I really liked. <laughs> Next, I'm doing a video focusing on your hips. So I'm doing a bunch of bridge pose and bridge exercises for your butt, basically. And again, I'll have all of these videos linked in my blog post down below if you want to try them out. 
Next, I'm doing an ab workout video. I believe this one was a 10 minute ab workout. This swimming pose is one of the hardest workouts. It's so good. You should definitely try it if you are ready. <laughs> All right, so I'm done with my workout for the day, moving on to stretching. So I wanna show you my entire stretch routine because it incorporates a lot of great poses. So I'm specifically doing a lot of stretches to realign my pelvis. There was something that I learned called anterior pelvic tilt. I will definitely link that video below because it's basically when your pelvis tilts backwards. This happens when you sit too long. And I've definitely sat too long and never worked out and so I had this pelvic tilt and I didn't know that that was not normal and not the correct alignment. So now during my stretch routine, I do stretches to try to realign my pelvis so that it is straight. And I also focus on just stretching my legs in general because the muscles in your legs are the biggest muscles in your body. And since I did leg workout today, you know, gotta stretch them. This one is my favorite pose. This is pigeon and sleeping pigeon. I love doing the stretch in yoga. It's so good for stretching your butt and it just feels so good. After stretching, I also like to do foam rolling on my legs. So I specifically do this when I have leg stay because obviously the muscles have been worked out and they can be really tense. To prevent them from being too sore the next day, I like to foam roll. Foam rolling is something I just started doing in the past maybe three weeks and there were parts of my legs that were so tense and painful to roll. And I've really noticed the difference in releasing my muscles from just like two to three days of foam rolling in a row. So it's because I've actually physically felt the improvements that I am motivated to do this. Plus it just feels good. You're basically massaging your legs. Um, I'll definitely share a video that teaches you exactly how to foam roll your legs that will also be included in the blog post. For example, the first time I did foam rolling on my front thigh area, basically my quads, it hurt so much because those muscles were so tense and tight. And now they don't hurt as much anymore. But I learned recently that that will happen when you have anterior pelvic tilt because your body is compensating. Basically, it's putting a lot of extra I guess uh, pressure on your quads making them work harder because the muscles behind are working less hard. So if you have anterior pelvic tilt, you'll also have really tight quad muscles which are those muscles in the front of your thigh. Now I want to fast forward a couple days because I actually discovered something new that I could add to my foam rolling routine. So typically I would just have nothing playing while I'm foam rolling or stretching. Sometimes I might play relaxing music, but I recently had the idea to start playing affirmations while I'm like foam rolling since I'm just relaxing, de-stressing. I'm kind of getting into that like meditative state. I'm like, oh my God, I could just use this time to also do affirmations or any like law of attraction related stuff. So I started playing my own lavender affirmations, which look beautiful on the TV if I do say so myself. Um, and that was just something where I'm like, oh my God, this is gonna be my new routine. If you don't just wanna do lavender affirmations, you don't have to. You can put on anything that is law of attraction or manifesting related because it's a perfect time to just like set intentions or repeat affirmations or listen to something that can help nourish your mind or soul. For example, this reminds me of when I used to listen to Deepak Chopra audiobooks before falling asleep. Another audio that I was listening to after my affirmations was like a Wayne Dyer audio. It was one of those where it was like three or four hours long that you're supposed to listen to to reprogram your mind while you sleep. Well, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna listen to this while I'm foam rolling because it's literally just these positive 
positive messages and thoughts on repeat and I'm like, okay, I might as well do something good for my brain as I'm, you know, stretching and foam rolling. So that's a little extra tip if you want to infuse some extra intention and manifesting power at the end of your workout. Last but not least, I also want to share clips of what an upper body day looks like since I did get to film both days. Obviously, the leg day is longer, more intense, and the arms day is a little more chill. There's just one video that I always like to do. It's a Vitamin Jenny 15 minute arm workout video. And that's the first video I did from her that made me fall in love with her channel as well. Because like I mentioned, these types of workouts, like I've never done these movements with my arms. Like some of them were silly, like flapping your arms like a swan and some like they look simple but they actually do hurt and they actually do work out your arm strength so i really enjoy doing that one and it's also really rewarding for these workouts the fact that i've been doing them for like a month to notice how much easier they've gotten over time so for arms day i did that vitamin Ginny arms video and then i did another thank you boo boo arms video and then i ended it with an abs video and that was my arms day so I hope you guys understand what's happening in my workout routine. I just basically alternate between those two types of days and then I take one day off, which is typically Sunday, where I just tell myself, okay, I'm not working out. I can just, you know, have a break. Um, so, so far I've still been keeping up with six days a week, but like I mentioned, I'm not like, like set on that. It's just that I happen to actually look forward to working out every single day. I know that might sound weird to some of you who like are not in that mindset of working out. I definitely was not always in this mindset. It's just that now that I found a good flow, I found a workout routine that is super accessible. I have all those playlists ready for me to go on YouTube. I can just turn on my TV, click the cardio playlist, click the daily playlist, and my videos are playing in the right order that I want them to play at. I get to choose. I have a variety of selection. I'm not doing the same videos every single day. I need to have some level of variety. And also I found in these videos a level that is perfect for me. Like, of course there are some videos that I find are too easy, then I'll take them off my playlist. If they're too hard, I have like a level two playlist that I only do those videos if I'm really, have if I have energy and I'm in the mood. But for the most part, these videos don't push me too hard, but they push me just enough for me to be able to finish the video and then you know that's how I'm able to do these workouts and complete the videos and I feel good about myself. The way that I'm working out, I don't like to work out till my muscles are super sore the next day. I don't want to have trouble like walking <laughs> and lifting things. Like I'm not going that hard. I'm just breaking a sweat, moving my body consistently every single day and that in itself makes me feel good about myself. It makes me feel good that I can show up, I can do it anytime. I typically do it in the evenings. I think I just made it so seamless and easy for me to show up to work out every day, which is why I've been staying consistent with it. I've literally built the habit since June. I do admit that my workouts have cut into my free time in the evenings, my K-drama time, my Netflix time, my just browsing the internet time, but I feel more productive. And on the days where I am not like that, have that much energy to work out, what I do is I play my K-drama and then I have my iPad or my phone, like the second screen that shows the cardio workout and I'll just be like loosely watching the video while watching like a K-drama. And so I'm still moving my body in that way. But I do find that I, I focus and work harder if I just watch the workout video, but sometimes I do do both. I like to multitask. I don't know, my brain doesn't, <laughs> it gets bored at the same things, like I told you. All right, I hope you got something out of today's video. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Make sure you check out my blog post for all those videos and recommendations. And I will see you in the next one. Sending you so much love. Bye.